everyone welcome back to my channel so this time i'm gonna be doing something a bit different so i am on the way to the halloween store where i bought these items i got liquid latex blood and some halloween makeup to create some really dope nails so my model for today is my dad so i'm gonna be doing some press on nails on him um so again this is gonna be very different so what i'm doing first is just sizing his nails i'm using the mccart uh press on nails um so i'll be sure to leave that down below but i posted this picture on my instagram and people were going crazy thinking that it was real i wanted to do another set of halloween nails and i literally came up with this like the day of um so i didn't have everything that i actually needed um so you will see me um i'm gonna say struggle a little bit um but i'll be sure to let you guys know what i'm talking about once i get to that step but again i'm just sizing his nail tips at first or his nails at first and then i'm gonna go in with a pair of um scissors and i'm just gonna cut them up a little bit um that way they kind of look like or they are gonna be broke or broken so um I'm just going to do this on all of the nails and then we can actually start gluing them on. Oh yeah, and then I also wish that I would have used like the um, natural nail tips instead of the clear, but I didn't think about it until afterwards. I just know that these press on nails weren't as long as my other ones, which is why I decided to use these. Um, but again, I'm just cutting them. And then also I do want to let you guys know that I'm not going to so much focus on the actual nails. I just wanted to make something very fun and different compared to actually, you know, like regular traditional Halloween nails with the pumpkins and the, um, you know, like the ghosts and the bats and whatever else I did um, earlier. But anyways, now I'm just applying the nail tips and I'm using the KDS glue, but I'm literally just doing like one small dot of glue glue like a dot or two of glue to apply the nail tips because he's gonna of course take them off right like right after we're done so again as you can see just a tiny dot at the back just hold the nail down for a few seconds and let it go Okay, so next I'm going to be using some wax and this is, I honestly don't even know what kind of wax this is. My dad said it's like actual beehive wax or something like that. But um, I just kind of put it in the microwave for a few seconds to where it kind of melted a little bit and I could move it around. And then um, since that didn't stick, I'm going to use the liquid latex that I bought. And I'm going to kind of use that as a glue. As you can see, he was trying to make it stick to his hand, but it just was not working. So I just used a brush and I um, was trying to apply the liquid latex like on the perimeter of the wax. But I'm going to go ahead and just take that off and just do the liquid latex all underneath. And and then apply the wax over it um they do sell some sort of like what is it clay i'll try to look for it um but they sell like some sort of clay that they use for special effects makeup but again i didn't think about doing this until literally today so i wish that i would have thought about it before so i could actually have ordered like you know all the right things and it would have turned out a lot better and you know something that would have blended into his like skin a lot better um so you are going to be able to see like the I don't know like the outside of it um, because it's going to kind of be coming off his skin or kind of look like it's peeling off but I'm just going to go ahead and hold this down for a few seconds let it dry and then I'm also going to apply some of this liquid latex running down his fingers and over to the side um, and then we're going to let that dry for a few minutes. Okay. 
Okay, and then also for his ring finger, I just decided to like do this at the last minute, but I'm gonna use like paper towel and the liquid latex. So I applied a little bit of the like uh the latex first, and then I applied a piece of paper towel, and then I applied more. Um, and I know this is like a way that people do scars or wounds or whatever um they use tissue but I, all i had right there was a paper towel i didn't feel like getting up so that's what i used um but i'm just using little pieces and then just doing the liquid latex over it and just applying it over to the sides as well and then i'm gonna let that dry for a few minutes as well and usually this one kind of dries clear as you can see it's starting to turn clear especially around the bigger part at the top and it did kind of stick to his um or it helped stick the wax a little bit so i'm glad that that worked um so i'm just applying a little bit more because it was coming up on the side so he's just gonna hold it down for me and try to make it stick and then we're gonna let it dry just a bit longer um but i'm gonna try to look for different materials that would work in case anyone is interested or you know just let me know if you know of any good products that would work for something like this um again the halloween store didn't have much they did already have like pre-made um like wounds or whatever but i wanted to do my own so um that's why i didn't get any of that but i'm just gonna go in and apply a little bit more of the liquid latex on the side of this one and then we're gonna let it dry a little bit more i'm also going to be using um, some foundation for the wax i'm going to apply it right over the wax i'm going to use my wedding wow foundation and i didn't realize my dad was so dark so i'm also going to be adding some eyeshadow and some setting powder and these are all just like my regular makeup that i use um but this one was like i'm literally um out of it so i was trying to scrape like the last little bit of that makeup that was in there um so you know i didn't worry about using it on his hand and over this wax or anything um but i'm just using a little makeup watch sponge that came with the little makeup halloween set or whatever and i'm just dabbing that makeup on his hand trying to blend it into his skin but of course it's a lot lighter so i'm just kind of trying to make it work i'm also going to be applying that on on the ring finger once that dry a little bit better and then also um, as you can see I made some holes in the wax and I guess I didn't record that part but what I did I just used the back of that nail art brush that's right there on the table and since it's wax and it was a little bit thick I was able to literally just make the holes with the back of the brush um, and I want to do like maggots coming out of it and I was hoping that maybe the cost not custom but the Halloween story had some sort of maggots um, but unfortunately they didn't have any so I'm gonna be using rice um but yeah so now after i apply the foundation i'm just using this um setting powder that way the acrylic or not acrylic but the foundation is not all shiny so it just sets the foundation and then after that i'm going in with some brown eyeshadow just to kind of contour i guess you could say um you know the outside of it so it's not so um light and it doesn't or it kind of blends in a little bit more um, and obviously, you know, if this is something that you do and you do special effects makeup, this is my first time ever doing this. So it, to me, it looks horrible because it's not, um, blending into his skin. But again, I am using literally wax. So, you know, I think I did kind of a good job for me to be using, um, this product. Y'all, and then also really at this point, I'm really just adding like different colors into it. As you can see, I'm adding some of that purple from that makeup little palette um, or like Halloween makeup palette. And I'm just literally like, I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm just adding stuff here and there, trying to see what looks good. Um, I'm adding some green, some purple. Um, but again, I'm using, it's either going to be my Morphe palette or it's going to be my little Halloween makeup palette that I got. And then I'm also going to use the blood. And since this one is already dry, we're going to go ahead and apply the foundation on this one. And then we're also going to come back in and apply some of the darker colors. Before I do that, I'm going to cut the middle of that with the scissors um, to where it kind of looks like an open wound because that's where I'm going to put some of the little maggots.
Alrighty, so I applied the foundation and I did the setting powder and now I'm just going around that with the part. It's like a brown and a purple. And again, I'm literally just adding colors and I'm just <laughs> trying to make it look a little bit better. And then I'm going to use the Vampire Blood. They did have a whole bunch of like different bloods and stuff, but I literally got the cheapest big or yeah i guess the cheapest one that i found which was this one um i was gonna go ahead and just apply the blood on there but i decided to go in with a little bit of red eyeshadow that way it kind of um gives it more of like a reddish effect i don't know y'all i literally was just adding stuff here and there so um you know if you want to try this just do your own thing to it um be sure to tag me on instagram because i want to see what you guys come up with other than just doing you know the traditional halloween nails but anyways after that i kind of just went crazy with the blood just adding it everywhere trying to get it in the little holes and then um the rice once i put it on there is just gonna be like literally rice i went into my mom's cabinet and just grabbed like a few little things of rice and i'm gonna just apply them in the little holes um with my wax pencil Alrighty, so now I'm just using the black and the purple um, little makeup thing from the Halloween palette. And I'm just applying it like on the cuticle area. Um, so again, I'm just doing something here. We didn't want to so much focus on the nails, but more, you know, on the um, thing on the finger, the wounds and all that stuff. So I just was literally having fun. Um, and my dad was too. He was just like watching and he was like, add here, you know, add this here, try this or try that. Because he's the one that was like trying to figure out what I could use for that thing on his um, hand. Um, so he was, you know, really into it as well. But again, we're just doing the purple on the cuticle area. And then I'm going to also go in and apply the blood like right in between the cracks and also like around the cuticle area. And then after that, we're just going to um, like add a little bit of black in there as well. And I try to add a little bit of green as well. But the green I had was like super bright and I just didn't like how it looked on the nails. But I am going to apply that like around the big one on the hand um, after, you know, I do this. But again, I'm just like literally going crazy with the blood i'm just adding it everywhere um and i i think out of the whole set i think my favorite part about this was the one on the ring finger and i wish i probably uh would have done the actual um big piece like with tissue instead of that wax because again i really like how that ring finger looks Alrighty, I think I'm done going crazy with the blood. And then my dad was like, you know, add a little bit. You see him pointing. He's like, add a little bit of green, like on the outside. And I added a little bit of green and black on there, um, just around the perimeter, um, just to give it, you know, more. I don't even know, y'all. Like a little bit more of like 
you know just a different little effect but anyways here is how they turned out um you know they turned out pretty fun it looks nasty disgusting that ring finger is freaking awesome and y'all those maggots are so freaking disgusting and y'all are so funny for the comments on my instagram like people really thought that this was real and i didn't even say nothing i just wanted to see what people said but my caption was something like um I told her no I think the first one was like um, when they cheat on their nail tech and then the other one was like I told her they didn't disinfect their implements but anyways they turned out really awesome as always I hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like comment and subscribe follow me on Instagram and Twitter at getno32 and I'll see you guys next time